So in the study that I ran here, I was interested in examining people's perceptions of how parents respond to their children. In the study, what we did was we presented people with a situation in which a teacher at a parent-teacher conference told parents that their child was behaving in ways that were not consistent with the child's gender, and then we manipulated how the parents responded. In one condition, they affirmed their child's behavior, saying that it was completely fine. In another condition, they backlashed their child's behavior, saying that the child should not behave in that way. And then we had a control condition where we didn't specify how the parents handled that behavior. We also manipulated the gender of the child as being a boy or a girl. So now I've opened this in Jamovi. We can see that I have condition as control, affirmation, or backlash condition. We have the gender of the child as male or female. And then I'm also measuring parent competence on a scale of one not at all competent to nine very competent. So we can run a factorial ANOVA just by clicking on ANOVA, ANOVA here. Or we can do what I prefer and click on general linear model or linear models here and we click, we want to make sure that we have this GAMLG add-on. You can see my video on downloading Jamovi and getting it set up, but you can get that from the modules. And once you have this GAMLJ, I actually prefer to run factorial ANOVAs using the general linear model option. So here I put condition and gender of the child in as fixed factors and parent competence in as my dependent variable. And we can see that automatically this is testing the main effect of condition, the main effect of child gender, and the interaction between condition and the gender of the child. So right over here, we can already see what's happening. So first, we found that there was a significant effect of condition. So we're seeing that the p-value is less than 0 0.001, and it's explaining 57% of the variance. That's what partial eta squared is, is it tells you what percent of variance in your dependent variable is accounted for by your predictor variable. So in this case, we know that there is a significant effect of condition. However, this doesn't tell us which conditions are significantly different from which. And we learned this in the ANOVA video. So if you have questions on this that go beyond this video, I suggest that you check out my one-way ANOVA video. But here, to probe this effect, we're going to run a post hoc test where we're going to ask for two key post hoc comparisons of condition. And what this does is those post hoc comparisons pair up the condition. They're called pairwise comparisons. They pair up those conditions and then it examines whether those two conditions are significantly different. So first what we're seeing is that the backlash and control condition are significantly different from one another. Further, the affirmation and control condition are also significantly different, and the affirmation condition is significantly different from the backlash condition. So in this case, actually every single one of those comparisons are significantly different from one another. I can actually ask for a plot here. So I can go ahead and put just condition on the horizontal axis, and this can actually show me where each of those means are. So what we're seeing here is that participants are perceiving parents in the affirmation condition as significantly more competent than parents in the control condition who are perceived as significantly more competent than parents in the backlash condition. And so that's what's happening here with that conditional variable. Now I also want to examine and test the main effect of gender of the child. And what we're seeing is that there is no main effect of child gender. So if we come down here and instead of asking for condition on that plot, we can actually ask for the gender of the child and we can look at those means. And what we're seeing is that this does look like there's a significant effect, but this is actually too zoomed in. Let's go ahead and ask for the observed scores and y-axis range. And what we're seeing is that when we zoom out, and by the way, Jamovi, that's annoying. It tends to zoom in on the effect and make it look more pronounced than it actually is. In fact, there's almost no difference happening between the male child and the female child, and that's why this difference was not significant. We then also test the interaction between condition and the gender of the child. And what we find is that there is no significant interaction between condition and the gender of the child in this particular study.
Well, that's what I have for today. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there's a particular stat you'd like me to run, please reach out and I'm happy to do so. With that, have a great rest of your day. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a good one.